right, guys. Here we are again at JP, at DTW. Can you guess where we're going? We might have another big announcement, so you guys will have to stay tuned. flying and waiting and driving we have finally gotten to our hotel room we are super tired we left Detroit at 9 30 and it's Detroit time at 6 13 a.m. <laughs> so but it's not that time here but it's not far off so anyways it is 4 13 here we're gonna get some Z's and we're gonna catch back with you in a bit. Bye bye. Water. Agua. Hey guys, so we're here in Kingman, Arizona. We got in really late last night. The deal was our plane left on time pretty much and got here on time but we flew into Las Vegas and on a Friday night at like 11 o'clock and there was it took forever for us to get our car basically we just waited in line after line after line and then there were no cars so from there we had to drive two miles to our hotel in Kingman and so we were able to get about three or four hours of sleep and now we're picking up some groceries and then we're now going to head over to a hike that we think has a hot spring and see if we can check that out. What do you yeah, have to say? Yeah, it was a very, very late, late evening. Uh, we both worked Friday uh, morning. I got off kind of late. Um, we pretty much left on time. Everything was on time, but once we got to Vegas, that's where things got squirrely. We got to the rental car place. There was a huge line because the rental car place that we reserved at that place was closed. So we had to go to another place and then we had to wait in a huge line and then we had a two hour drive. So we didn't end up getting to bed till really, really late. We got an early start. Uh, today, we did our usual Walmart stop, pick up some supplies and now we're gonna hit the road and uh, see what we can get into. So just as a side note too, um, at the Las Vegas car rental pickup, it's a it's a big center where all, all the car rentals are. And it, many of the car rental companies advertise that they are open 24 seven, 12 to 12 every day of the week. And that is not true. And we literally made it within five minutes of them closing. They were turning droves of people away, telling them they'd have to come back the next morning. So if you are flying in late, into an airport, you know, you may want to call ahead and just confirm that they're actually going to be there for the hours that it says on their website with COVID. I don't know if it's because of COVID or some other reason, but um, it'd be pretty frustrating to be able to get somewhere after a lot of travel and then not get what you need. I mean, if you have the financial extra money to just go get a hotel and not worry about, you know, losing money on a hotel, maybe you've already paid for that might not be a big deal for you, but I know there's a lot of people traveling on a budget, so just kind of keep that in mind. So where are we now? We're at the local Safeway getting some Starbucks. 
Yep. Getting our yuppie fix in. Yuppie fix. Well, we got to this Anson Smith Road, and it's really pretty, but um, we don't really see a trail per se. We see like a Jeep trail maybe. And right now, I have no idea if we're on private property or what. <clears throat> Here's a view of it. There's supposed to be hot springs. We have not found hot springs yet. That doesn't mean they're not here. It's just the, the trails go kind of all over the place. Um, so we're gonna keep looking.
Well, guys, we were going to show you something that might have been cool, but we can't. So we bought some property in Arizona, just south of Lake Mead and just east of the Hoover Dam or southeast of the Hoover Dam. And <clears throat> it is a definitely four wheel high clearance road. Um, we went in about nine miles and decided to turn around because we're in a rental car, which does have four by four, but it's not very high clearance. So uh, we're going to have a snack. Larry's going to fly the drone for a little bit and then we'll head back. We'll show you some of the footage of us driving down this road. And I know some of you will probably laugh, but hey, we, when you're in a rental car, you, you got to make sure you're careful. So that's the deal. So that was today. We'll catch you later.